What up, what up, what up? Y'all tuned in to another episode of Ends Podcast. This episode, man, we keeping it straight with the knowledge. We're going to be talking about what is influencer marketing and how is it beneficial in today's day and age, especially when you want to talk about social media, you feel me, sliding in them DMs. And when it comes down to just understanding, man, what, that, what, what everybody calls the millennials in the new day and age of how media is being digested. Man, since the rise of social media, it has created so much more value in influence marketing. And then when you start thinking about it, everybody know what influence is, you know, like popularity, you know, stuff like that. Uh, the cool, the cool kid. I don't know what whatever the hell y'all y'all call it, wherever the, you know, like wherever you from. But at the end of the day, it's like when people be um, uh, talking about like Instagram models and things of that nature. That's when you start thinking about influence, you know. When somebody take a picture and they get 300 likes, they have an influence. But then that also means that their influence is bringing awareness. Not because of social media, it's like more people can tap into, you know, bigger audiences, things of that nature. And they can also connect to people on different levels. Now, when they connecting, you feel me, and they, and the way they connect and how they connect and, and, and what they connecting in. And when I mean by connecting, I mean like say when, if they post a picture like this is where I'm at. They basically like promoting that like, this is where I'm at. So if somebody hold them credible to something, they gonna look like, oh shit, I just seen them at the the brand new um, soul food opening, for example. Like you just saying that just a, a generic restaurant name. I just seen them at the brand new soul food opening. Dang, that junk a little fire. Let me go ahead and go try that out. Hey man, y'all trying to go slide there? Like that's that's like the power of influence. Or you might see somebody take a picture with something on. You might be like, damn, I want, damn, like how the fuck you find those joints or where you find that at? Oh, I got these from. Uh, from kicksonfire.com. I don't know. I'm just, that was a, a website for back in the day, but you know, um, but just name it, just, you know, just using them for example. Like, basically, the power they influence created that that funnel for either traffic or even for a sale. But it's, it's really going more in depth. So we're going to go more in depth with the definition of what is like influence marketing. Influence marketing is a form of social media marketing that involves endorsements and product placements uh, from influence, uh, influencers, people, and organization who poses as an expert of knowledge and social influence in their respective fields. So this don't always mean like popularity. I mean, it does to a certain extent, but it also means like um, you don't necessarily have to be on Instagram posting pictures. You could be YouTube. It can even be blogging, um, even things like that, because all forms of media creates some type of form of digestion. So some people might be reading it, they might be looking at it, they might be hearing it, but they might be, you know, seeing it. And, you know, it just just going back into all those different factors that these are ways that your product can be placed. In. Uh, like for example, this podcast. When we start off the podcast, we say, "What up? What up?" It's your boy Baz. Y'all tuned in the Ends Podcast, and then at some point we could have said, "Like, oh, y'all tuned in the Ends Podcast, sponsored by such and such, such and such." That means every listener that started off listening to this podcast just heard y'all brand, y'all brand name, and now they're more aware of it. And they're like, "Oh, dang, they messing with Ends Podcast," and like, you know, then they the influence of Ends Podcast kind of weigh on that consumer's decision. In a sense, because now they're looking at us like if we attach our name to it, you know, we must be rocking with them in some type of form or fashion or they must support. They might want us just support because you support us. Um, but it's just understanding that and that's how it works. But it's thinking of it on a more grand scale. Like, let's go bigger with it. Um, music artists do it all the time. They shouting out all these different brands and they rap songs. They taking pictures of it, all these different designers on. You got to understand what that is. That's also influenced marketing. Um, when you seeing all these workout videos and you seeing them put their pre-workout, um, you know, like just making a pre-workout or making a protein shake before they go work out or the shirt they might be wearing, got a brand on it. That's influence marketing, too, because in some type of way they got that influence. Well, I ain't gonna say they got that influence, but they attracting that market, whatever that market may be. Sometimes that market may be, you know, uh, 
fitness or that market may be fashion or that market may be cars it might just be a car guy he might just be documenting his whole process of fixing up his car so now people are tuned in they interested they like oh man like thank you for giving me this tip on how to fix my car but then what parts did you use where did you go you know like how did you diagnose this pro uh, uh the, the, you know like this problem what what technique should i use oh yeah i got this i use this transmission from you know from this this company or you know or i went and got this tested out at AutoZone. you know just i'm just using those brands for example uh with, that was not paid for it there these are not paid sponsorships or anything of that nature i'm just using those for example for people to kind of understand the way influence marketing is working in this time but like I always say, man, I ain't going to talk y'all to death. I just want to just breathe on y'all a little bit, give y'all a little tip and an insight on, you know, influence marketing and understanding what that is and how do it benefits and how does that translate in today's social media craze era and how it's going to progress. Because as you start to see more audiences are growing and on different platforms and people are able to connect and create these groups and create groups based off of, you know, specific interests. And if your brand or product align with that, and once you infiltrate that, it's like you start to become part of that culture. You can build with that culture. Man, we see it going on with Supreme and um, and, and so many other things, you know, like Call of Duty Warfare, uh, people that like action games. Uh, then after that, you see from Call of Duty uh, came Fortnite. But how Fortnite has infiltrated, like, the gaming community because they made because now fortnite was like your girlfriend can play it, kids can play it uh your everyday competitor gamer can play it but then they just made it just so like they just catered all the way down to that just that that gaming community and created a product that everybody can enjoy in the gaming community and they associated with other influences and brands from having hip hop dances on there, uh, having competitions and at different locations and stuff like that to be able to connect with these different audiences because they know, hey man, some of our game players, they, they are familiar with hip hop. They know what the latest dance is, you know, or, you know, some of our, um, you know, like some of our audience, you know, some of our game players, you know, they understand what, you know, with these type of different players and you know stuff like that you know like just different just different locations so when they start hosting tournaments and start doing things of that nature they start understanding like that these are who we want to cater to over here in new york they got like a big we got like hella sales or downloads and stuff like that let's go ahead and host a tournament there we know that it's accessible people love going there they love going to new york and stuff like that we got a large base there you know things like that but that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. I'm tapped out and I'm about to tap out. Thank y'all for tapping in. And as we always say, ain't no support like free support, man. So go ahead, like, share, comment, man. View what we talking about, man. And when I say view, I mean like actually visualize what we mean by this. Go ahead, go back, research, absorb all this, man. And then, if you want to also, you know, stand on what you believe in, if you buy into what we saying, man, be that voice. Cop that merchandise. And we also love to hear from you, so you can also leave us a voice message by clicking the link down in the description. But this your boy Bass, and we out. Continue eating in them streets.